Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, you're sharing my videos, you're supporting, I mean, you're being so supportive and sending good vibes my way you're resonating and it's just a beautiful blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading towards positive vibration if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes and good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support your channel is growing fast it was just at a thousand two days ago now it's like a thousand twenty so it's just moving at rapid pace so it's just a really beautiful blessing that our community is growing like crazy and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the meditation music I'm listening to today is called Secret Tones to Unlock Powerful Brain Waves, Meditations, Ultra Brain Massage, uh, uh, Binary Beats by Sonic. So I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, this trying time tries to get the best of you know that it's only temporary it is you know how many times i gotta tell myself that a day and how many days a week i have to tell myself these things are only temporary you know better days are coming for you you're about to be living your best life and it's gonna be when you least expect it you know you're going through these situations you know your pain has a positive purpose it has a bigger purpose and it's like bigger than us it's not just about us you know we go through these things because we have a reason we're getting prepared for things you know like i told y'all we're getting activated you know i told y'all i had a vision the other day let me turn this down a little bit I had a vision you know a few weeks ago it's just like light lights are coming and switched on with y'all it's like we're robots and we're like sitting up you know like we've been sleeping for so long and we have to sit up and it's like not just for the spiritual awakening but you know it's like i even heard y'all say rosalyn how many dark nights of the soul we gonna go through how many ascensions how many kundalini how many spiritual awakenings as many as it takes for us to get through what we got to go through you know you got to go through it to get to it amen hallelujah we got to go through these different situations i'm telling you and it's just like i tell you i know that y'all get spiritually emotionally and mentally and physically tired she probably sexually tired too i don't know you know you we go through all different things together it's all discombobulated but it's just like going through the things we go through it has purpose for it you know and it, it's just like they say you know i hate it when they say good things don't always last bad things don't always last i'm like let me just keep the good things i know every day ain't gonna be a good day but i try to find the good in every day but it's just these times now it's just like we don't went through the spring equinox then we had to go through these shifts and we got to go through these upgrades and we got to go through downloads and you know side loads and uploads and cross loads and all this other stuff i'm tired i'm so tired i'm tired boss i'm tired you know i had to go john coffee i'm tired boss you know i you're just tired of going through stuff like that but whatever war are we getting paid for i mean not even getting paid for what are we getting paid for spiritually because <laughs> we you get so much knowledge out of the things you go through because there's times i sit up here and cry and ask god why do i gotta go through so many hard times it's like what would you talk about in videos if you didn't have hard times it's like touche touche you know i you i wouldn't have anything to talk about you know i go through these visions i go meditate and ask you know universe if there's something you need me to if you need me to sit down and take a breather can i go sit down or you need me to you know uh send a message out send something to you know for my my family to be you know aware of you know because some, sometimes we go through some stuff and we really think we mentally about to lose our last 
nut you know you're you, you know we only got like a few nuts and those things are kind of loose you know we got screws loose you know our elevator don't go all the way to the 13th floor our radio ain't really tuned up all the way you know all these different things we go through yeah i gotta scratch my head on that one like the heck <laughs> you know but we go through the things we go through for a reason because i i mean i've been there you know ask god i'm tired you know why i gotta constantly keep going through this and i went through this this and this and that i can't get no closure i can't get no peace i can't grieve you know, I can't grieve and let go of anything because everything is all over my face. It's steady in my face, you know, and it, it's just like it hurts. It hurts like hell. You know, there's times I cry and I say, I, I'm just tired. I don't want to go through this anymore. But then, you know, like today, I said, bump it. I'm done. I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. I'm going to lay down and I don't want to care about nothing today. Next thing you know, I'm just like, I'm getting mad at myself. Like, why you got to be done today? Why can't it be tomorrow? Why can't it be next week? <laughs> you know, and I want to get up and then it's just like, you know, you can't give up on things that you can't go to the day without thinking about. You can't, you know, even when you want to, you just can't. You know, I got mad and just said, I'm through. I'm through with the universe. I'm through with God. You know, I even sit there like, <gasps> what are you doing? You know, you can't say that. <laughs> you know, you can't say that. We're like, we're going to let this slide, but you know, you're going to pay for that later. I said, I already know. I'm paying for it now already as it is because I'm, I'm getting aggravated. I'm getting very aggravated. Like, Rosalyn, be careful. Be, uh, not be careful, but, uh, be patient. I'm like, mm-hmm. Your blessings coming. Mm-hmm. Times ain't always gonna be like that. I heard that. <laughs> you know, but I'm just like, God dog. You know, even when I try to have a cheerful day, you know, there's days it just seems like sometimes the bad outweighs the good at times. And then there's times if I really think about it, the good outweighs the bad. It's just how you have to look at it. And you know, we go through things, you go through things. But I said, you know, I have to really step back after, you know, I'm not in my feelings no more. And it's just like, you know, if you didn't go through this spiritual awakening, finding out what you, you, you would never have found out who you really are. You would never been drawn to make videos for YouTube. You wouldn't have been able to help guide Hayokas, you know, on things that they really didn't know. You know, I had a love bug ask me yesterday, you know, Rosalind, why did you want to grow such a large audience? Why do why you want this many eyes on you? You know, and it's just like when I went through my spiritual awakening, because I know a lot of y'all are new. When I went through my spiritual awakening, I didn't have the guidance that I am doing for myself as well as you all today. You know, I, I had to go by gut feelings. I had to go by voices in my head. Or I had to go by spirit writing or my dad coming to me in visions and telling me things. My, my family over in the spiritual realm coming and delivering messages to me. Being able to see certain videos that screamed out to me like watch, listen. You know, my dad, I could be scrolling. My dad was like, hey, stop. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, I'll drop it. I'm like, what? You know, I'll drop it like a hot potato. Like, what? You can't tell black folks to stop something. Because I'm like, look, what, what do I got to run? Do I got to do what? You know, what what, what I got to do? No, just watch this. <laughs> like, no, stop being extra. Just watch this. My dad always tell me that because he's so laid back. And I'm just like, he's, you know, I'm all over the place. I'm like a gremlin after 10 o'clock. Can't do me like that. Y'all you know, say I'm totally opposite of you. My dad's quiet and real reserved. And I mean, I'm like, ah. You know, I'm all over the place, so my ADD be acting up at times. But, you know, we go through these things and go through them. Y'all are being comical because it, it, it's good, better to be like that than sitting up here crying and stuff like that. I ain't got time. I, you know, I did enough of that today and yesterday. I'm not doing it today. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm through. So it's just like going through things I go through, you know, it, it's like a tragedy and a blessing at the same time because, yeah, it sucks for me to have to go through the things and find out what I had to really find out because you never want to be betrayed by your family. That's one thing you don't. And then when you have to be healed, I mean, that takes a lot of strength to heal. Like, you know, even though it's just like, I know when I when I have my intro, you're like, God, dog, I don't even say it. I'm like, dang, how many times you going to say it takes courage? But it really does. Because it's just like with my situation, it's very touchy. Because when I come out and say who I'm related to, the reason why I'm doing these videos, why I had to do these videos, that's opening up a lot of things for me to be judged, me, you know, me to be mocked, a lot of things, you know. And it's just like some people don't believe me and some people do, you know. But it, it's like a blessing within itself because if I didn't go through this situation, I would have never found out who I was. I would have been never able to you know make videos video diaries and then making videos to try to find my mom and then when i found my mom my mom blocked me but then it was like it took me to a different course and it was just like you know you think you know what 
you know your purpose is you might figure that you have a certain direction but mine has flip-flopped so many times it's like and it's not because i you know didn't know what i wanted to do it's just like when i'm guided one way i finished that course and then the next you know they had me go this course and then they had me go this way and they had me go back this way you know i felt like i was on a roller coaster but then it got for me to educate myself and be more knowledgeable about things because it's just like when y'all come and ask me questions I'm like, hey I can solve this I can help you I've been through this I got this you know I can say all these different things about myself because it's like I was made for this even though I didn't know I was made up and made for this it makes me think about this song um I forgot what it is it's called chasing the sky uh empire it was with Jesse Smollett and you know Bashir's great Shears and you know Terrence Howard and it was just like I never thought I was made for this and then I can see why it was so damn hard that was the chorus and that song used to make me cry because I so resonated with that song because I didn't feel like I was built up for this I said you want me to what with all these people looking at me because I was so quiet you know I was scared about how people were going to take me what we going to think what we going to say you know and now I'm just like I don't care I say what I want to say this is my channel I got a fifth amendment right I can say what I want I'm not hurting nobody you know if I'm getting you getting hurt by my truth that's not my fault you know I'm going to speak my truth regardless of what people say you know and, and there was times when I first started out and I told people why I was making my YouTube channel for it they were like Rosalyn why you do that I wouldn't do that I'm not going by the advice of others because they're worried about what other people are going to think of me. I don't care if you don't, at the end of the day, it still ain't going to change who I'm related to. It still ain't going to change my concept on why I did the things I, I had to do. And so it opened up a lot of doors and it's also opened up a lot of wounds for me. But it's healed me in ways that I never thought I would be able to heal because it was like dealing with that. I lost my mind. I went overboard. I wanted to die. I mean, there's so many times I tried to kill myself because I wanted to be with my dad. It killed the hell out of me to know that I didn't have to go through. I didn't get that physical contact. I did not be able to say goodbye. I did not be able to do all these things just to know all these other things happened. But then I know I used to get mad and I was just like, you know, I can take a bottle of pills that it would have killed somebody else, but it didn't kill me. You know, I woke up having a, a weak high. Like, I was high for a whole week, mad as hell, looking at, you know, these crazy white folks in my house. Like, why are you in my house and who the hell are you? They were like, well, they said we got a call saying that you attempted suicide while you were 5150. Damn, you got a number out for me? You know, I wanted to be a 420. Why I got to be a 5150? You know, and it's just like, you know, I just heard my mom, my grandma and them say, oh, no, she didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. You know, I wanted to be a 420. I didn't want to be no 5150. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, I'm just resting. I just took me a nice sleep. They said with 223 pills, yeah. Obviously, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm here, ain't I? You know, just mad as I don't know what. Yes, I did that. You know, but it's like I can be able to say that now. I can be able to joke about it now, even though it's not a joking matter to try to commit suicide. But at that, that state of mind I was in, that I didn't want to feel pain. I can't believe my family did this to me. You did what to me? Then it all started making sense to me why I had to go through the things I wanted. I had to go through. Why was my family so determined for me to go ahead and kill myself? Why did they want me to kill myself? You know, knowing that they were willing to drive me down that road for me to be able to take, be taken away from my children. It was like living comfortably was worth that much to you. And that was a lot for me to have to take in and just say, you know what? I'm past the anger part. I'm just more sad and disappointed that you would ever do that to me. You know, and that, that I mean, that's weak. That's weak people. When you're willing to want to take somebody away from them, their children. You're willing to take those children away from their mother. Like them children, your grandchildren ain't been through enough, been exposed to enough. Now you're trying to take their mom out. You know, it's all, it's just a lot of things I had to deal with. Being able to go through the things I go through, being able to open up and tell you the things that are really dark and deep to me. I mean, I'm, God can only judge me, you know, because nobody's past is clean. Nobody's past is perfect. There's things that you have done in your life that you're not so proud of. But those things is what makes you who you are today. You know, anybody doesn't deserve to be in your life if they got to constantly keep telling you about your past and reminding you of those things, especially when that's not you anymore. And, you know, people can tell me, Rosalind, I've been locked up. I prostituted. I did this and I did that. 
okay, are you doing it now? No. Okay, then you learn and heal from it. Who am I to judge? I used to dance. I used to sell pharmaceuticals. I used to overdose on pharmaceuticals. I had to hustle to sit up here and take care of my children. I didn't prostitute. But, you know, I, I did things that I wasn't proud of. I mean, I wrote bounce checks. I got evicted. I got my car repossessed. You know, but I can sit up here and say that's not me anymore. I'm able to open doors for other empaths, allowing them to see why they had to go through what they had to go through. Knowing their pain has a far deeper purpose than they ever imagined. Knowing the things that they've just been placed in their life to break them in all, all directions they will heal from. You know, I had the devil just second guessing like, damn, you know, I even tell people I was going to get a tattoo saying that heaven didn't even want me. And then, you know, the hell got a restraining order against me. I can't go 200 feet past the, you know, the hellish gates. They be like, you know, devil see me he be like hell to the no, she can't come up in here. She raised more hell than I do. I'm like, bingo, cha -ching. you know, I can't do that. You know, so all these things you're going through for a reason and knowing they're only temporary. But when you get finished with them, when everything is said and done, you're going to look and be be glad that you went through what you went through. So this is like 16 minutes long. It'll probably take about five days just for it to upload. So I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace and be wise.